Hello, my name is Kark82 and welcome back to our multi-block madness series. I am just hooking up the Forge of the Heavens, Forge of Heavens, Forge of the Heavens. What is it again? Forge, Forge of the Heavens. Getting that hooked up to our Liquid Starlight. Now we only have one kind of work in here. Uh, I may need to add more, um, but I already had this set up. So I figured let's just, uh, let's just run a conduit from here. Um, I did think about maybe setting up another one, but then I was going to have to, you know, get a thing for the uh, aquamarine to put it into all of them. So I'm like, let's just hook it up to here. And then if we need to, maybe I'll run like, bunch of the uh what are they chalices light walls uh if we need more uh these do require ten thousand per ingots and i'm sure we need lots of ingots i don't even want to know we're probably like oh do we need this as singularities yeah i'm not seeing that but uh All right, so we don't, it doesn't look like we need <laughs> Crystal Matrix ingots as like a singularity. That would be a nightmare. Um, but we definitely do need these automated. It's fun. We're starting to like, finally starting to look into the creative stuff. But uh, yeah, so we got our Liquid Starlight and I need to, if I remember, was the item input. There's two fluids on the back, and then that. All right, so the items, the underneath, is that what it was? Normal item input. Normal item input, and then the output is right there. All right, that's good to know. Uh, so I guess, you will. Well, let's look at this recipe. This is the only... No, this is not the only. There's quite a few different recipes. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Ah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I just... It's 9 to 1 and then 9 to 1. I, I've always hated that. Like 81 piles of neutrons to get that. I guess that's only from... Maybe crops. I don't know. I'm not. I think you can get that from QB, QMD. Anyway, that is not what we're doing right now. Uh, one, we need empowered oil. Two, we need mechanism lasers, which um, say like 50 million joules. Um, I can never remember how many lasers we need. like i don't know is 50 million a lot i don't remember i guess we'll find out but uh all right so we got that we've got automated stellar alloy i don't uh, think i have that yet we got a couple things here the main thing we have to do today though is get empowered oil um now the super fancy way to do it would be integrated dynamics unfortunately i have used that like once in my life so i am not an expert at that uh, but I think we can do placers and like fluid placers. We could even, I, I have no idea if this is going to be like how laggy it would be, but I did see that earlier fluid annihilation plane. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. Just feels like a terrible idea <laughs> to do that with that. But I was just thinking, I'm like, if we use that, then I could just use AE to get the fluid like into here. I don't know. Instead of do that. Um, but let me, I guess let me, um, let me, uh, like what is turning on here? Probably the the stuff for the polymer. Uh, 
yeah, let me get the rest of... Let's at least get this stuff. We're good on that. The Celestial Crystals, I guess we will do a recipe for that. I don't have tons of Rock Crystal, though. So what was that one for? That was... Crystallizer. You, you're a Crystallizer, aren't you? Also, pretty sure that recipe takes more. It takes 20,000 RF. I should throw a, uh, we'll throw a thing on there. A, uh, whatchamacallit? Power plug? Power, power plug? Plug? No. Point. There we go, point. I thought I had one. Um, yeah, because I remember this struggling a bit for power. Does this save? I think it does. Or disable limit. So, rock crystals. I have... I mean, we have a few. Did I... Do ore dictionary? I don't remember if I... Did I set ore dictionary? Oh, that's right. There's no reductionary on processing. Um, I don't actually know if this is... Wait, I think we're getting rock crystal from our miner. Now that I'm thinking about it. Are we getting... Yeah, we have 800. All right, we're good. So if I do... All right, I have like a really good crystal that I don't want it to use so I'm gonna throw that in there otherwise that could get used up I don't want that to happen I think this is just a regular that's just a regular one man I think this might be a bit of an issue yeah hmm. all right um how the heck am I gonna do this? I guess could we Like, that has no... That has, like, no thing on it. Um, maybe if... Does it... Does it just come up, like... No stats? Oh! That's an alloy smelter. That is not a sagmo. I guess we're gonna need a sagmo here. Which, I mean, that's not bad. Alright, so, let me uh, get a few things here. That looks terrifying. I don't even want to look at that. What is that blue fluid? I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. Uh, yeah, so we got that. I know we got that. Let's do this and this and we'll be right back. Okay, I am just crafting up an enhanced sag mill because I was thinking, oh yeah, we already have all this stuff, but uh, totally <laughs> didn't realize that was an enhanced machine chassis. Totally forgot about that. Uh, it needs an end steel chassis. Uh, which isn't too bad. I didn't do this tonight thing. This tonight is a little annoying to get. It's not in the alloy thing. It uses that one thing over there that we use to get the witty or whatever. But also, I totally, uh, I totally forgot these energy hatches have a limit. <laughs> so I was, I. Just, Flip the flux point, and I'm like, why is it only outputting? It was only outputting 8,000, and I was like, it wasn't getting enough power. I was like, what the heck is going on? And then I realized it's because, yeah, hello. It only accepts 8,000 per tick, but uh, that's only 8,000 per tick per side. So by throwing another coil on there, you saw it actually, it was working. Um, but I need to upgrade that. But uh, some of these are... A bit annoying because I do, do I have all that I might actually have all that stuff now that I'm thinking about it uh, this one is the annoying one but I mean even that isn't that terrible at this point uh, I don't think I need I mean do we I don't I don't think anything really takes that much power in this thing does it uh, Uh, no, I'm looking for, I wanted the uh, multi-block. Why are we getting all this stuff? That's like the whole thing. I wanted the, uh... anyway. 
we don't need to actually yeah let me look at that really quick i want to there that's what i was looking for 3d crafter that's what i was looking for uh, four thousand thousand four thousand ah oh, we don't need something super big i think the uh Ten thousand. Yeah, that's the most expensive thing to do in that actually. Alright. I'll just leave that. No need to change that. Anyway, uh we got that. We got the industrial no, enhance. Something die. There. Did I get this? Yes. Alright, man, it's so awesome having these annoying pulsating crystals and stuff to uh Did I... Did I screw something up in the recipe? I feel like I screwed something up in the recipe. No. Wait. That, I just realized, that dye is... That is an alloy smelter recipe. That's what it was. There it goes. Yay! Okay, there we go. And then the enhanced. We'll just, I guess we'll just do, we just do a, okay, let's just do a recipe <laughs> as well. Uh, we have recipes for so much stuff, so. Man, do I love having those patterns, though. Are the, what is it called? Enhanced. There it is. Holy cow. Typing and talking at the same time. I may even up actually upgrade that. Maybe I'll upgrade the alloy smelter while we're at it. Uh, the only kind of annoying thing with that is I'm pretty sure. Uh, I guess I haven't really laid this out super well. I mean, it's in my head it's organized, <laughs> but... Uh, but do I want that there? I usually like having the stuff all together, but I could just throw it on the end over here. Yeah, it's a bit funny with the... I don't think you can... You can't put the interface on top of that, can you? I don't think you can, actually. All right. Anyway, well, there is the enhanced thing, so we can see it's a little bit more involved than uh, other things. So that will let me get the... Uh... Man, I don't even remember what we were doing. What were we doing? We were doing something. Something for that. Ah, right. Rock crystal. Man, I was like, I don't even remember what we were doing. <laughs> it's been... I have came for a little bit. Uh, all right. So let's also, yeah, I guess I can do a, pretty sure I have that, we'll at least throw that in. I mean, our machines are chugging along here, as we can see that was pretty dang quick. Um, yeah, we're not getting enough power with the Vibrant Alloy, for sure. I just want to see this. Alright, so that... It doesn't have any stats. It does have stats if you put it in your inventory. All right, that is something <laughs> that uh, I don't want to do. Yeah, when you put it in your inventory, it gives it stats. All right, I have enough channels there. I wasn't sure if I had enough channels. There. Push-pull. I could just, I don't think we need any of these rock crystals. I could just get rid of all the, oh, hello. There's like a perfect one, but do we need a perfect rock crystal? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I should just throw these all out since I have so much right there. These few, it's just clogging up the inventory or my my system. I'll just get rid of those. Uh, but uh, let's do that. I'll just do the one. And see other ones are chance. Okay, 
So, does that do the Celestial Crystal? Did that work? I didn't even... I didn't even see it go. Oh, yeah, it did. It went so fast I didn't even see it. Now, is this getting enough power? Did it even run? Where are the... Uh... I mean, I guess I could just look at the, <laughs> the progress. Uh, nope. Did it? Hmm. Okay, it's right there. It's got a different... Got different... What is it? MBT? Is it MBT? Probably, yeah, probably MBT data. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to kind of mess around with that a little bit. So let me continue doing that and... Let me look at, uh, like, I think that'll work, right? What's a stable one? Wait, there is an even easier recipe that I didn't realize? All right, hold on. <laughs> Change of plan. I didn't realize you could use this. That is a whole different recipe. And it gives you something totally different. And I have tons of Skystone dust. All right. Well, there we go. I didn't realize that had more than one recipe. That is cool. Then you don't even have to worry about funny, uh, funny um, metadata. Let me. Did I? Wasn't that like it was stable, wasn't it? Didn't I? Maybe I didn't change it. Did I not? Maybe I didn't change the... Yeah, it's not that. It's the stable celestial crystal, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. Now we got it. Now we're getting it. I, uh... There it is. Also, that may not be getting enough power, actually. No, it is. Did it work? I think it did work. Hmm. All right, yeah, we're definitely running into... Wait, no. That was the original one that I forgot to cancel. Cancel. Yes, we did get it. All right, let's try one more time. <laughs> uh, there. That should jump up to two. There we go. All right, we got it. Wow. All right. Well, you know, it's a learning experience. Is there... No, I think the rock crystal... Yeah, we're good. That That's taken care of. I just can't hold them. Otherwise, they get the the thing. All right, so moving on. We got that. We got that. End steel or stellar alloy. Pretty sure I just need to throw a recipe in here. Yep. We have that. We have that. We have another stars. Ta da. But I throw it in there. That work? Should be fine. Oh, I need to. Throw some. I don't have nether stars. I should just have nether stars manually. All right. Uh, let me. I need to set up another one of these. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah. I've turned them. I would just did it manually, but I forgot I'm turning this all into supremium. So, yeah. We need to. Uh, I need to set up one specifically for. Specifically for Wither, although I don't really want to have to go kill another Wither. <laughs> Alright, well there's our Pristine. Our Pristine Wither. Or... Another Stars. Anyway, we're good. Uh, let me uh, let me work on the rest of the stuff, and then we need to get it empowered working.
and powered oil. Okay, as uh, usual with some of these recipes, at first glance they look pretty easy, and then when you start breaking them down, you're like, oh, this is a little bit crazier than I thought. You're like, oh, okay, look, all the stuff, all those different parts, they all work. Oh, we just need this, no problem. And then I started looking into this, and then I was like, oh, so this is an infusion recipe that we're gonna have to automate now. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we'll use, you know, maybe we'll use the item lasers to get them in the thing, that shouldn't be too bad. And then I looked at this and realized we're going to have to do the mechanism thing to, uh, this is like the 5x mining thing. Now we did set it up a little bit earlier to get the shards, but we didn't set up the, the titanium shards, which I've ended up broken down. But uh, we never went the full route with the crystallizer and everything. Now... I am noticing that the sulfuric acid that we can make in the lab oven, which is relatively easy-ish, uh, does not work with the mechanism. Uh, unless there is a way to convert it, I really don't know. I don't think they are, because I, uh, looking at the tooltips, uh, that one's nuclear cleft sulfuric acid, obviously. And uh, if we look at our dictionary entries, it's none. And then this one doesn't even have any. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to do that line. And that is not the easiest thing in the world, to be honest. I mean, it's easy, but did I not light something up? Man, I really wish these... I know they're like random parts, but I really wish they, um, mobs couldn't spawn on them. All right, so I guess, uh, where are we gonna do this? Do I do it underneath? I'm not gonna get into this in depth or anything like that. I don't have much room down here. <laughs> I guess over here. We have plenty of room over here. Oh, I totally forgot I had the pump here. Right. Um, I was going to use this, but we actually don't need to use that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this down here. So let me go ahead and start getting this going um, because it is quite a large build. If you've ever done this before, it is not, not a small build in the slightest. Okay, this isn't actually too bad. I am testing out if that works. I have a feeling you can't do that. I think it has to go in that one. Now, I could do like an interface, but uh, I'm actually going to just do the export bus. I like export buses. I know a lot of people don't, but also I hate when <laughs> they connect like that. But I also... I don't know, I'm really weird with my e-cables. I don't find it so annoying that the dense cables go in first. Like the auto, like it fills if I use the one, the export bus, it puts the dense cable in, not these cables. The random. Yeah, I figured that was that. All right, so relatively easy. I do need to put some mufflers on here. Uh, water going in there turning to water vapor, which we'll use in a minute. This is producing oxygen voiding the hydrogen that's going in an infuser uh, So the oxygen and then this is producing sulfur dioxide And that is producing the sulfur trioxide now we need to Put this in with the water vapor, which we are producing over here now I think this is uh I think this is a gas I don't know who came up with the coloring on these mechanism machines, but I don't know. Like there is like a red square on here. Makes no sense to me. Uh we're gonna do 
Guess we'll do it this way. I need to get that over here. The way I've set this up, maybe it wasn't the smartest at all. Yeah, now that I'm looking at that, not the best. Why don't we move this to like here? Where are you? Rotary condenser. I think I have that right. I don't know, let's try. Yes. No, I think I have it backwards. Try one more time. Unless water vapor. No, water vapors. Water vapor is a gas, isn't it? Yeah, alright. There we go. Now I have it. Yeah. So I guess we'll put Which one are we doing? Sulfuric acid. like this, like this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, that's the power, that's the output. I guess that's probably not the way I want to do that. That is the exact same way I just did it. Man! <laughs> Some of these things. I don't think you can. Can you rotate? No, I don't think there is a way to rotate. Alright, uh, let's try this again. Yes? No? Maybe so? Alright, there we go. And then this in there. Insert. Extract. No. That is not working. Do I have it on the water? Ah! <laughs> ah. Watch, it probably needs to be on that one for some funny reason. Uh, let me throw it, this on there. Alright, let me continue doing this and uh, we should be almost there. This should be producing sulfuric acid once I get this faced the right way. Thought I had it. It's just water vapor. Maybe water vapor isn't I can't tell what, like, what is that? Like a big yellow square. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, and then why is that a small yellow square? I mean, I guess a big one wouldn't fit, but. Yeah, see, that needs to be, is this this? No. All right. No, it is a thing. Er. Yeah. Okay, I think I just had to toggle the operation. It was set up for a condens and just, just a trading. Yeah, so I flipped that and... Alright, there we go. So that, uh... That was that. So, dissolute chamber. Okay, I think I, uh... I think the small one is gas. The big one is liquid. That, uh... That... Well, they both connected. It's not going in there. Because of course it's not. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't sulfuric acid go in there? I have the right thing, right? Dissolution chamber, sulfuric acid. Do I need to... I need a constant concentrator. Alright, completely ignore what I just said about the... The size of the things. They absolutely do not matter. I just flipped it around and now the stuff's going in there. So that is actually hooked up to a large like a large square so yep i don't know input input output wait is that what it is because that's a big one and there's a small one on that side input output i don't know all right i can put that away i don't need that and i need the astral star metal i'll just throw a whole stack in here might as well Throw that on top. And there we go. 
we are getting our astral slurry. And then we need to wash that. Which uh, maybe we'll do that here. Alright. So what the... Two small ones and a... <laughs> Alright, we're getting that. We need to do this one. So... Input, output, no. Well, there's two inputs, so I don't know what the... Uh, I'm assuming that big one on top is the fluid. That's why I thought originally the fluid was that, but that connects to that, which doesn't connect to that. Is slurry a gas? Is this considered a gas? Okay. I need to craft up more of these under gas conduits, and I have 100% don't have this automated. All right, so I guess that's gas. All right. Let me just finish doing the rest of this. Basically, we're just going to pipe water in there. I'm going to get the water from over there, and uh, we'll clean the slurry and then pipe that into the astral storm metal thing for crystals. Okay. Got the final bit. This one has a big and a small box, and uh, apparently the output is the, the big one. Uh, I don't know. But uh, all right, there we go. Astral Star Metal Crystal. I mean, it's not. This is not a difficult build at the slightest. The most confusing bit is just figuring out which freaking side you have to put the stuff in. Um, I have heard 116 mechanism has changed a lot of that, so I am happy to hear that. And I'm looking forward to trying that out in Rustic Waters. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is our, our thing. So let me set up the, the lasers and uh, we'll see if we can autocraft. Okay, I have gone ahead, got the recipe for the star metal cluster. 10 of those, one void metal lingot, 10 of the flux things, and 10 of the tenebrae. Um, I have got those going, so we should have both of those. I have gone ahead and connected lasers to all this. Um, I do have one up top just to make it kind of like a little bit symmetrical. Um, I don't actually, I think that's, I think that'll work. I actually don't know though, but I'm like, is it gonna, it, that's all like one item network, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know if it, will it transport from here to here to those? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but we'll go ahead and throw... Where did I put that? Did I not bring it with? Right here. Now, I did do a priority, a higher priority on this one. That's 15. It's low. It's higher than all lows, so it should put the void metal in there. I'm hoping. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, we've got filter on here so that doesn't smelt this stuff down in there for the essence. I have a filter on there. Wool and ore calcum. I don't actually know if it can put anything in there if there is no recipe for it, but yeah, might as well be safe. And uh, I don't actually know if this is going to export from this item interface. I don't know because it doesn't have a... There's no GUI. I don't know if there's like actual items in there or how that works, but I don't know. Let's... Give it a go and see. Did I not hook that up? I guess it helps if I hook it up. And that way we should <laughs> see the thing. I did check to see if we had enough. We should have enough channels over there. I guess I don't need to run all the way back. I have wireless. All right, we got everything. Let's see what happens. Stuff go in there? Hmm. Not seeing stuff get broken down. And I am not seeing stuff get pulled out. I wonder if... Does this have to go directly from the thing to... The... Does that not work how I kind of was hoping it would? If I do... To that to that. Right. 
Clear. We clear. Clear. Yes. Clear. That. So if I do from here to here, does it do anything? No. All right. So that isn't going to be as easy as I had hoped. So I got to find out where the heck these items went because I have absolutely no idea. Are they actually inside this thing? I wish it had a interface, but I can't see it. Uh, does this need to be on top, maybe? I don't think it should have to be on top. I have... You know what? Let me try this really quick. And uh, I'm going to have to test this in between uh, episodes. So I... Do you have any comments or suggestions for how to get this to work because obviously it is not working in the slightest would love to know all right so i'm wondering no idea where those stuff that stuff went i have no idea i don't even know if that's possible pull out the items like that i don't know what part's broken basically like what is it the laser that's not working? Is it the interface? Is it like why? I have a whitelist. Is that what it is? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let's just what let's really quick, let's just go back and then I'll flip that. I'll maybe no, because that should maybe you can't pull out with the conduits. Um, let's do that. No. Nope. All right. Well, I'm stumped. I don't know where those items went. Or if this just doesn't... Uh... That kind of tells me they're still in the A system. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, I should be able to make void metal ingots. I have the essence. Alright, so that doesn't seem to have anywhere to go. Let's cancel that. The void metal ingot's still in the A system. Alright, yeah. So it looks like it doesn't know where to go, which... Why isn't it being able to figure that out? I don't know. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll figure it out next episode. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.